Got him. That one. Got him. Oh, it's a Lincoln. Oh. 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 Ugly, but good eating fish. Hi, my name is Lee. Today we're filming an addicted life based on catching sea bass and lingcod. And my dad brought some special guests. What my favorite part of today is going to be is tonight when we fry them up. Nuts, man. All right, Layton, you help him out. Okay, I'm gonna help you with some casting already. <laughs> you want a nice, smooth cast, a far cast? Reel that up to where that bait's about a foot from the tip. And then see this little baler here? Yeah. Line that up with the rod. Okay. And then you should be able to just reach this with your finger. You don't. If it's over here, oh. it's kind of hard to reach. So then you have to kind of drop your hand yeah. and bring it up. So line that up. One finger, open the bail, and then you don't want to hold, you don't want to death grip this line right against the, the rod. Just let it hang on your finger, and then this way, when you let it go, you can send it. And then always cast towards the rocks. Oh, it's cast. No, 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 we don't need the net. We don't need the net. Actually, legally, we can't. It's a little too small. It's a big rock now. See that crunching? Yeah. It's like you got grinders in there. In the back of a like screw. The shells and cool. stuff. You know, like, Look at that. I'm a little cubby. You know how to hear that? Hey, dude. See you, bud. So keep the fish down in the water. Good job. First one of the day. Beautiful bass. Like I said, you know what? He'll eat good. We're gonna turn him hopefully into uh, hopefully into some fish and chips tonight. And then if you look at these guys here, they have like hypodermic needles. Look at that. So whenever you're handling these, you gotta be so careful. Look at how sharp. Those things are, and they got a little bit of something in them, man, to where when they get you, they absolutely sting you bad. They got them up here too. They got little sharp spines up there too on the gill plates and then on their fins. Too. So you gotta just kind of watch them. They're mean little animals, but they sure taste good. Ooh, that feels a little better. Oh, real buddy, real, you got them now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Double up. You got doubles. Grab me the green net. Grab me the green net. Big lingcod. I didn't even realize what this was. The lingcod. Surprise. Net that sucker. That's a good one. Yes. Good job. <laughs> I'm going to help him. I don't know what he's got. That's a keeper lingcod. What is it? Oh, big black. Grab the line and pull it in for him. Big rockfish, dude. That's what you want. Right? Help him with. Lift him the boat. Easy. Get him in the boat. Good job. Let's go. <laughs> Second one of the day. Can you just give me a let's go? Yeah. No. Let's go. That one's for Marlin, guys. I want everyone to comment below. Let's go, because Marlin just loves it. Look at this, guys. Oh, yeah. These are the good eaters. Look at this. Come on, come here. You want to see this? Look at that mouth. Holy. Yeah. So that's why when I said he almost bit me, you gotta watch out. <laughs>
Ugly, but good eating fish. Surprise link on. I'm like, you know, I'm watching the boys fish, man. Just like kind of like throwing a rod around, just trying to find them for guys. Look at what he just puked up. That just came out of him. There you go. Whoa. All right, guys. So you're looking to come out here and do this. I actually repurposed my Akuma Guide Select Pro twitching rods, the 761s, make fantastic bottom fish spinning rods. I spool them up with just a 20 pound monofilament just because the braid does work out here, but you do break off a lot. So I don't want to like snag um, and have to retie a bunch of bumpers. So I just go to 20 pound for the season, small spinning reel and my little jig. Now we're going to cast it out. We're going to let it fall a little bit. Keep that tip low and just reel back really slowly. That paddle tail has enough action and these fish are so aggressive and so opportunistic that when they get a chance and eat something, they do. Oh my goodness. I just suck at life right now. Oh. I'm tired of getting my butt kicked. Let's go. Tired of getting my booty kicked by these fish. Booty kicked. Cameraman Alex had to sneak a shot. What do you got? Keep tip down and away. Down, down, down. Big bass. Woo. Big old bass. Holy cow. Look at that one. <laughs> Okay, drop him back down in the net. Whoa. Open the bale. There we go. Let's go. Well, we got another let's go out of him. My wrist now. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Still got him? What is it? Starfish? A swimming starfish? Oh, good bass, actually. Hold on. I'll help you. Hold on. Chuck, I think that's the biggest one today. Yeah. Now you have to kiss it. Uh -huh. Oh, he's so sweet. Feels like a kelp. Oh, it's kelp. A lot of people like these guys, but kelp greenlings, kind of big. Like our buddy Brandon, like these, he actually prefers to eat these over the black bass, but we're gonna let him go. But look at these, look at these blue spots, guys. Dude. Fun stuff. Whatever it is, it can put it up like a parachute. That's a big fish. I don't know what he has. Oh, it's a sea lion. Is that what it is? Yeah, he just, he, the sea lion just came oh. up and spit the fish out. I don't know what he has. Oh, it's a sea lion. Is that what it is? Oh, He's still, there's it still a fish on there. That's what's going on. You hook the fish and you hook it up. Keep reeling. Just reel it back. Just reel it back. Don't pump. There's Monster bass. That's why. <laughs> There's a star. So the sea lion had it. That's why it was that's just exact, running. That's exactly it. You know what? <sighs> Screw the sea lions. Die. <laughs> this is our dinner tonight. Look at on this side. Where? See how he's all roughed up right there? He had him. Damn. Right. Huge sea lion one. don't mess with us. Good job, bud. Jeez. <laughs> Fish on. Hey! Whoa, a little swim bait? He ate it. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. You're good. That's a That's really a good, one. good one. Don't drop him with it. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Tank! It's a four pounder, boy. Tank! Got him. That one. Got him. Got him. Oh! Holy. Oh, I think it's a link cod. 
I got it on camera. Whatever it is, it's you. Oh, it's a link on. Oh, it's no, it's not. Never mind. It's a, it's a kelp. Kelpie. Oh, Camazon. Oh, it's a link. It's oh, yeah, big. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's just so freaking cool. And so, so tasty. I cannot wait. That one's probably going to be made into fish and chips with some Pride of the West beer batter tonight. I gotta get some beer. <laughs>
throw it in there. Now we got a little guacamole, a little onion jalapeno, or a little tomatillo sauce. Put a little of that guy on there. A little bit of cheese, or a little bit of, excuse me, jalapeno and onion. A little squeeze of lemon on there. Now, I know it's like sacrilege to like real fish tacos, but like if you want a little cheese, I'm gonna throw a little cheese on there too, because I think it makes it look good. Like I said, the cheese thing I know is gonna, you guys are gonna be commenting, but like, you don't put cheese on fish tacos. I do, I do, okay? Now we're gonna give it a shot. Obsidian Stout Beer Battered Ling Cod Fish Tacos. Mm. Nailed it. This stuff was swimming just a few hours ago. It's super light, super fresh. It's ridiculous. We just got done eating fish tacos. We just got done eating Ling Cod tacos and we have addicted Videos playing in the background. I addicted videos playing in the background. Okay. I'm not doing this. We just got done eating Lincoln tacos and we have addicted life videos playing in the background. If you want to see more of these videos, click up here. And see you guys next time. Just do what he said. We're tired. It's been a long day. Thanks for watching.